Hello guys. Welcome back to the aviary. Previously, we showed how Irfan got a green-winged mecha from his friend, Mastari, a mecha breeder. The green-winged mecha was later named Anoa. About a month after Anoa arrived at the aviary, our keeper, Bogus, started training him to get him ready for a free flight, which lets the birds fly freely outdoors, without obstruction. They will not run away because the birds that have been trained will surely return to their owners. And in this episode, we will see how Anoa made a free flight for the first time. But before that, let's see how Bogus trains him in the aviary. It's the aviary! So, Bogus will train Anoa to fly to him. But in this training session, Anoa is still attached with a rope on his leg. In addition to preventing him from escaping, the string aims to get him used to fly around above the aviary. Anoa! We try to train it at a distance of three meters. Let's try a longer distance. His power is still not enough to do a free flight. Good boy. Good boy. Nah, <laughs> High five. Nah. Okay. Hey, where are you going, boy? He would have run away if he wasn't tied up. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. That's a Noah's training session. How to train birds like Bogus does can't be done without adequate knowledge and experience. Many bad things can happen when training or allowing birds to do a free flight. For example, birds may become exhausted when they fly. Then they would come down and land on the road before being hit by a vehicle, eaten by a cat, or caught by someone who happened to want to keep birds. If you want to train birds to be able to do free flights, but you are still inexperienced, you should ask for help from a mentor who has done it several times. Learn from them directly, not just from videos on YouTube. Once you gain experience and know what to do, you can do it yourself. Bogus himself took weeks to train Anoa before being declared ready for a free flight. And interestingly, Anoa will be accompanied by other Makas in his inaugural free flight session. On the D-Day, Irfan invited his friend, Aiting, to bring the Makas he had bred into the aviary. 
In total, there are five different types of makos that will accompany an O on the free flight. The makos are blue and gold. Harlequin makos. Then, from left to right, there are scarlet, green-winged, and camelot makos. These five birds previously often do free flights. Therefore, Irfan asked their breeders to let them accompany Ano on his first experience of free flying. By the way, where is the main star? Where's Anoa? Ah, here it is. It is in the process of molting. Well, it seems that Odin can't wait to release the birds. Where did the bird go? Could it be that he ran away? Finally, it came back. Please don't make us worry about you, boy. All right, let's start the free flight session. But before that, let's first install GPS on the birds. So if they disappear, we'll know where they went. But hopefully, that doesn't happen. Wow, some can't wait to fly. Guys, Are you ready, guys? We're going to let go of one bird, and know, before the others follow. One. <laughs> two. Three. Well done, boy. Now let's release the other birds, except Anoa. Ini sekarang banyakkan nih, siap. Saat Ano jangan, Ano jangan. Satu. One. Dua. Two. Three. Oh my God! 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 Wih, keren banget. Wih, guys, bagus banget. Ih, anginnya gede ya? Iya. Aduh, iya. Mereka happy banget. Di atas lagi burung ada yang turun. Lanjut. Wih, wih, keren banget. Hey, come here, hey, come here. Oh, Set. Oh my god, keren banget. Satu lagi siapa? And that is the last bird. Thankfully, they all came back. Not a single one escaped. But why wasn't Anoa allowed to fly with the others? That's because his strength is still lacking. On the other hand, the other five birds were able to fly quickly, and their stamina was good. If Anoa is eager to match the speed of five other birds while his strength is still lacking, he might end up perched on a tree. If that happens, people have to get him off there, and it's not going to be easy. So it still has to fly alone. The other birds only serve as bait. You are Anoa, please! <laughs> well, that was to be expected than funny. Anoa is indeed more familiar with Bogus than Irfan. Okay, let's try one more time. Come on, Irfan. Anoa! Anoa, Anoa, Anoa! Anoa! Anoa, Anoa, Anoa! Anoa, hey! 
Ano nga sini eh? Eh ano nga, ano nga sini ama? Ano nga, ano nga! Finally, they returned to Irfan. <laughs> Irfan deliberately wore a red jacket, like Bagus. So Anoa thought it was Bagus. <laughs> One more time, let's let Anoa fly. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Siap. Satu, dua, tiga. Eh, sini. Anu, 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 Ini, ini, ini. Ini, sini nih. Anu, 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 And Noah perched on a tree. Maybe the bird tired. The bird was invisible, but his voice was heard. And the sound came from the direction of the tree. Come on, Bogus. It's time for you to act. Bring your chicks home. Thankfully, the lost boy finally returned to Bogus. He was looking for his way home. Look, both the bird and the caretaker look so exhausted. It is the risk of doing a free flight. And this is why we need experienced people if we want to train and release birds for free flight. Here, fortunately, we have Bogus. So, according to senior experts regarding the results of today's free flight, Anoa still lacks the energy to fly long distances. However, Anoa is still very young. He will be more proficient in a free flight as he gets older. At least it will take until he is one year old so that his strength is sufficient to do a free flight perfectly. In addition, we also have to continue to train him until he can get used to free flights. Regardless, it was already excellent that he was able to return when he got lost in the tree. Because, often, Birds already perched on such trees are difficult to call back. That's it for this episode. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video is helpful for you. See you in the next episode.